The US has quite a lot on its plate. It's currently facing a near unprecedented drug epidemic, a housing crisis, surging poverty, rising unemployment rates, deep healthcare costs, crippling student loan debt, red hot inflation, and much, much more. What did Congress do when all of these crises came up for a vote? Well, they were split. They couldn't come to a conclusion. But now, unity prevailed in Congress. It's a dream come true. Representatives from all walks of life are finally in agreement. The issue in question? A Chinese spyware that aims to steal your data and hand it over to the Red government in China. It's trying to infiltrate your children's minds and fill them with communist propaganda. Your neighbor or your colleague or even your family members could be using it. No one is safe. It's an attempt by the socialist country thousands of miles away to alter the form of government of the United States by unconstitutional means. Wait, this just sounds like McCarthyism. I don't think you have any conception of the danger of the Communist Party. I don't think you yourself. The US government is once again trying to feed its population lies about the social media app, saying it's stealing their data and even blending in xenophobia mixed with a new red scare. Have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? Senator, I'm Singaporean, no. In reality, US social media companies are stealing users' data and attempting to feed users pro-Western propaganda. But it's all swept under the rug for the sake of the good old American dream. TikTok is simply operating like any other social media platform, using user data to push ads relevant to their interests. But it seems like US representatives want to ignore that, or even worse, they genuinely don't get how it works. They finally got united, but it was in favor of something Americans actually did not want just like nearly every single time they managed to unite. 